swarms in the kitchen it's a swarm of activity and that's what it was in this kitchen moment i hope you enjoyed the video it's very unedited but i think you're going to like it for something a little bit different today we are baking in the kitchen with my granddaughter and we are making some poppy seed bread I'm going to read you the directions and then we'll get started in the video. It calls for it calls for two and one fourth cups of sugar, one cup plus two tablespoons of vegetable oil, three eggs, three cups of flour, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and one and a half cups of milk, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, and one and a half teaspoons of almond extract, and three tablespoons of poppy seeds. So let's get started. Sometimes beloved cookbooks have lots of spots on them because people use the recipe so often. Okay, the next one is one cup plus two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Okay, so we're going to get rid of the sugar and now you're going to go with the vegetable oil. So it's one cup and... One cup and... plus two tablespoons. Okay. So one cup. So you can use one of them. Perfect. And then two of those. On to the next one. Yep, and we're done with this one. The next thing you'll need is three eggs. Should I crack them in the thing? You want me to help you with that? Yeah, I can crack. However sense. you want to do it. Very good. Oh, I see how you crack your eggs. Very good. You can put the egg in there. Uh huh. This is a great way of using of lots of eggs. Very good. You didn't get any shells in there. I'm impressed. Very good. I'll take that from you, and then I'm gonna see the next one. Give you the next one. Okay. The next one is three cups of flour. So we we'll need of flour. three of these. Yep. Three cups of those. So I might need some more of the flour, I believe. <laughs> yeah, give it a try. Okay. You're right. Perfect. I have things a little different than those containers are hard to get the flour out. Oh, you might have enough. Very good. That's one. <laughs> so you can get another one in there. And Sierra loves making cakes. So she likes to bake. There's two and we'll have enough. You will have enough. Perfect. Just about right. I guess we can use the rest. Yep, perfect. All right, you put that in there. And then why don't you give it a little stir with your wooden spoon and get some of it stirred up before we do the rest. All right, so Sierra's going to stir everything up and then we'll get back to you in a minute. We're going to go with the we're going to go with the milk. Okay, so you need one and one half cup of milk. So we're going to use this. Oops, let me pour it for you. Okay. I'll pour it. it so we're going to use <laughs> one. I made that kind of full. One and one half. I don't know if this is a half. So we're just going to go this way. We're going to eyeball it up. Oh, that's a little too much. Don't use all of that. Just use most of it. I kind of... Mama did. There you go. Now we're going to go ahead and give it a stir again. Yep, and it's got to get more of it like a cake batter. Now, normally you could use a mixer, which makes things a lot quicker, but we're doing it the old-fashioned way. And so you just got to go slow, and it'll take us a couple minutes, and then we'll show you what it looks like when we're done. This is what it should look like. It kind of looks like a cake batter. Very good. Looks just like cake batter. Now what's next? I think we're missing three, we're missing a couple things yet. Okay, so next you need one and one half teaspoons of vanilla extract. It's right here. Oh wait, no, that, this is vanilla. Okay, we gotta start here. So we need one and one half teaspoons of salt. Okay. 
So we need one and one half teaspoons of salt. So how do we look on here? See if you can find a teaspoon. What is it? Yep. Good, sir. Yep, stir it up real good. The video you just watched was a video that I found on my computer. I think it was from June and I wanted to share it with you. I think it's really important in this day and age that we teach the younger generations all about the old fashioned way of living. My granddaughters live in a very modern house, but as you can see in a lot of my ending videos, they love dressing up and they love pretending that they lived an old fashioned life. At the perfect ages where they love Little House in the Prairie and they think my house is a lot like Little House in the Prairie. I think it's really important. It's important to teach the generations, you know, what it was like when there wasn't so much money. We don't know what we're going to live like. We don't know in the next 20 years what's going what's to happen. I do think that some things in our lives will go back to more old fashioned. Well, of course, we still have modern technology and that's a great thing, but the old values are values that I hold fast in my heart. That's what I like to do in my channel. I like to share with you the old fashioned values and the old fashioned way of living. In my day to day life, I like to incorporate oldness, old fashionedness, the way your grandma and your grandpa, the way your mom probably lived. I know quite a few of you watch me from the older generation and while each year more and more younger people are starting to watch me, that does my heart glad because that means the younger generation is taking a look again about the life that the older generation lived and they're realizing, hmm, you know what? There's something to that kind of lifestyle. Happiness isn't bought and no matter how hard your lifestyle is or how good your lifestyle is, happiness it doesn't reflect that. The richer you are or the poorer you are, happiness doesn't make any difference. It's what's in your heart and while I love living the old-fashioned life. That's what gives me happiness. While some of you love the modern life and you love that because that gives you such happiness. I think there is a medium ground, don't you think? I think the values and the lessons that our forefathers taught us are very important. Yes, they made huge mistakes, but they did some things that were right as well. So, like my mama always would say, you take it with a grain of salt. In other words, you decide for yourself what things do you want to pass on to your loved ones and what things maybe better stay back in the history of life. Take care everyone. We'll see you guys.